Welcome everyone, I'd like to show you how to easily restore an iCloud backup onto your iPhone. So I'm assuming you want to do this because you have an uh, older iPhone and you're trying to upgrade to the newer device and you want to easily transfer the data. And if that's the case, I want to show you um, also how to create an iCloud backup if you haven't done so already. And then later on, I'll show you how to restore the iCloud backup. If you're only interested in restoring the iCloud backup and you've already made an iCloud backup, I will have the timestamp or just like scroll through the video, I'll probably forget the timestamp. So first of all, to create the iCloud backup, just open up settings. Then you want to find your Apple ID right here. Just tap on that. Then you want to find iCloud, tap on iCloud. And then you're going to scroll down until you see iCloud backup. And then just turn this on, make sure it's on. Then just tap on back up now. The process might take a couple of hours, depending on how much data you have. And you also might have a situation where you have a prompt saying um, back up this over this. What that means in English is you do not have enough storage left in your iCloud account. As you can see, I have almost two terabytes of iCloud storage almost used up. But the free plan which Apple gives you is five gigabytes of a, of a cloud storage. And so if you're in this situation where you don't have enough iCloud storage, you probably want to upgrade to the 200 gigabyte plan. It's literally 79p a month. And so if you can afford a £1,000 iPhone, but not a 79p monthly subscription, then I don't really know what your finances are looking like, but something clearly went wrong there. I'm not trying to insult you, but like, you know, you, you, can, you can get the point I'm trying to make. Like, I mean, when I was a kid, I said, I had 79p and 1p coins in my um, piggy bank. So, I mean, come on, man, like, some, something went wrong there. So just wait for this process to complete. And once you have this iCloud backup available, or if you already made one in the past, how do we restore it? Well, you want to go on your new iPhone, and you want to make sure you're on the setup screen. The setup screen, um, it's like a white thing, and then you see like, holla, hello, whatever. And if you see this, then you can restore the iCloud backup. However, if you already set up the device, but you didn't restore the iCloud backup, we need to go back to the screen. So to do this, uh, let me just show you on my old iPhone. We're going to go into settings, general, reset and we're just going to tap on erase all content and settings now if you have any like important data already on your iphone then you're going to lose it right and so hopefully uh, the data that you lose is less important than the data on your new iCloud backup and make sure you are back up all your data on like the cloud or whatever because you can only restore to one iCloud backup you can't restore to one backup then you're like oh let's just restore to the other one you can only restore to one backup right so once we've done this we'll be back to the setup screen and then we'll just set up the iPhone. There we go. And very soon you'll be brought to a very special page. So set up manually. And then we'll just go to this network. In fact, we'll go to this network because this has the funny password. Really secure. Don't come to my house. And hopefully, um, this Wi Fi is really horrible though. That's why it has no security. So hopefully, um, the iPhone will activate. Okay, we'll just tap on continue. And I recommend you set up your Touch ID. My Touch ID sensor is broken. So, yeah, you can see it doesn't work. So I won't be doing that. So I'll just tap on uh, don't use. And I won't create a password. Obviously, you probably want to. But I'm just going to skip to this page, apps and data. And the important part is you want to tap on a restore from iCloud backup. And once you do this, it's going to ask you to sign into your iCloud account. Make sure you sign into the same account as your older iPhone. Then you'll see the iCloud backup and you'll be able to restore it successfully onto your iPhone. It might take a couple of hours. For me, sometimes it takes like 10 hours. Um, I mean, I have a two terabyte iCloud backup, so that might explain it. But um, once you've done that, then everything's good to go. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to smash like, subscribe if you're brand new, and hopefully um, you enjoy your new iPhone. Hopefully you didn't downgrade from the iPhone 11 Pro Max to the 6S, but just in case you did, enjoy your new iPhone 6S. See you guys later. Bye-bye.